My name is Ryan Hardigan from Econ Technologies, the creators of ChronoSync and ChronoAgent. In this screencast, we're going to talk about container documents, why they're useful, and how to use them. I already have several sync documents that I use to back up some folders in my home folder. The syncs are each scheduled to run at various times during the week. On the weekend, I want them all to run late Saturday night. Now I could create a new scheduled item for each document specifying the sync to run once a week on Saturday night, or I could add them all to a container document. This allows me to run or schedule the group of sync documents in one easy step. Here are the sync documents I'm going to use. I have one for my pictures folder, one for my music folder, and one for my documents folder. Let me go through the steps to group these into a container document so I can run or schedule these syncs as a single document. Begin by launching ChronoSync from the Applications folder. Create a new container document from the menu bar by choosing File, New, Container. Next, click the Documents panel. Now I need to add my sync documents to the container. One method is to simply drag the sync document into the Documents window. Another method is to click the Add Toolbar icon. The container sync document will accept any saved sync document or even another container document. Synchronizer documents can be rearranged by dragging them, affecting the order in which they run. Double-click a document in the list and ChronoSync will open the document to edit it. Use the Remove Toolbar icon to remove an unwanted document from the container. Just select it and click the Remove icon. To save the container document so it can be scheduled, click the Save Toolbar icon. The container document can be run just like a synchronizer document. Click the Synchronize Toolbar icon. Running a synchronization on a container executes each contained synchronizer document in the listed order. Note, you cannot run trial synchronizations with container documents. If you wish to run a trial synchronization, it must be done in each individual synchronizer document since one synchronization might affect the outcome of another. Container documents have their own independent log that displays a combination of the log entries from each sync document. Schedule the container to run just as you would schedule any other sync document. Click Add to Schedule, choose the days and times, and save the schedule. Container documents are a great tool for running or scheduling a group of sync documents in a single step. They also work great when you have several sync documents that must be run in a specific order every time. If you have any questions regarding ChronoSync or ChronoAgent, please visit our website at econtechnologies.com.